the Brooklyn Nets have arrived. In the 2019 offseason, the Brooklyn Nets signed two max free agents in Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. After Kevin Durant's two finals MVPs at Golden State, he was ready for a new beginning in Brooklyn. After Kyrie's short stint in Boston, he joined Durant. Coming into the 2019 season, we knew Katie's situation with his Achilles injury, so we knew we, had, we would have to wait a season to see the Stars start a duo. But while Kyrie was there, he was holding it down, but he only played around 20 games, but when he did play, he was doing his thing like usual. This takes us to this season where we finally got to see Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving as a duo. What we've seen from the Brooklyn Nets so far has been nothing short of amazing. Katie and Kyrie have put on their show, and it's great to see them back both healthy. There were a lot of concerns about how Durant would come back from this Achilles injury, but from what we've seen so far, he hasn't missed a beat. It doesn't look like he was injured at all. He's not, reluct he's not reluctant to attack or anything. He truly looks the same. In Kyrie's first year in Brooklyn, he was putting on a show he always puts on, but again, he only got to play around 20 games due to injury, so he missed out on a lot of Kyrie Irving. You can question him in the locker room or off the court all you want, but his on-court play is undeniable with his handle and just natural, pure ability. At first, I was skeptical of how Spencer Dinwiddie and Karis LeVert would get theirs with KD and Kyrie leading the offense, but so far, it's been beautiful. The freedom Steve Nash is giving these nets should allow LeVert and Dinwiddie to get their shots and opportunities like usual. And Durant, Durant, no, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving both know how to be effective off the ball, so it should be fine. So far from what we've seen, the Brooklyn offense has looked seamless, good ball movement, and we know they're not gonna have trouble creating in the, in the half court with these guys, but their biggest concern is definitely on the defensive end, specifically perimeter defense. With guys like Kyrie, Dinwiddie, and Karis LeVert being there, Opposing perimeter players won't necessarily have nightmares thinking about Brooklyn's defense. Hopefully a guy like Torian Prince can be a consistent defensive guy for them because they'll definitely need it. But the Nets paint defense on the other hand should be pretty good with the rotation of Jared Allen and DeAndre Jordan. Their defense doesn't need to be amazing because how good their offense will be, but it can't be awful. No matter how good your offense is, you need good defense also if you're trying to win a championship, which of course the Nets are trying to do. But because of this overload of offensive talent, because of the duo of KD and Kyrie, the Nets are my pick to represent the East in the NBA Finals. If everyone stays healthy, they should get there in my opinion. Of course, teams like the Bucks, Heat, Celtics, Raptors, and Sixers will be there to challenge them. But I'm confident in my pick of the Brooklyn Nets. They have the easiest time scoring for sure, and I think they still have the best player in the conference in KD, with Kyrie Irving as their number two. We've seen Kyrie in this position before as the number two, but at this and this time in Brooklyn, it's not the same as it was in Cleveland. Irving will be able to handle the ball even more next to KD compared to playing with LeBron, so we have the chance to show out even more in Cleveland than he did in Cleveland. And again, question his off-court antics all you want, but we've seen him deliver on the big stage, and he'll do it again. He'll remind everyone of who he is, and he's already begun. The Brooklyn Nets have arrived. Like I said earlier, the talent with Kyrie Irving has always been undeniable. And the same of course can be said for Kevin Durant, but throughout the years, these two have been some of the most hated NBA players in the game. The hate towards KD started in 2016 with this infamous decision to join the Golden State Warriors and pretty much guarantee the Warriors championships for the near future. They won it in 2017, 2018, they would have won it in 2019 for the 3 P if it wasn't for injuries, and we know what the reaction was for most NBA fans as soon as KD joined the Warriors. And he's still hated today by some, even six years later. The drama with Kyrie Irving started with him running out of Cleveland in 2017 to go lead a, a team by himself and I have to be the second guy. The Cavaliers complied not too long after and sent him to Boston for Isaiah Thomas. And we know what happened there. We know all the drama that happened in Boston, which really started the claims of Kyrie Irving being a presumable locker room cancer. So with people questioning if Kevin Durant could win a championship without the best team ever assembled, and with people constantly on Kyrie Irving, a potential Nets championship would wipe away any criticisms that are sent the way of these two superstars. If Kyrie can add another ring on top of the one in Cleveland, any Kyrie's a locker room cancer narratives will be out the window. At this point, it's very easy for people to hate on this man. People in the media treat him like the kid in school that everybody picks on because they know it's easy. It's just very corny to me when I see people in the media constantly slandering his name. 
It looks very weak for these grown men to get on TV and spew hate towards the same man that everyone else spews hate towards to just kick him while he's down. And I truly don't think Kyrie cares about this, but still, multiple occasions we've seen these guys in the media essentially tell him to shut up and dribble without actually saying the words out of their mouth. If Kevin Durant adds a third ring, his greatness has no question marks attached to it. One of the best scores ever, if not the best. With an MVP, three rings, and a possible finals MVP, three finals MVPs, nothing else to be said. For these reasons, I trust them both in the playoffs, and I, I trust them win a championship. They have a great team, and they already shown great things. Bringing a championship to Brooklyn will clear the slate of these guys' careers. I want to see them shut everybody up, and with the way they're looking versus everybody else in the East, it shouldn't be too hard for them. In conclusion, the way the Nets have looked so far this season leads me to believe they will be in the NBA Finals in 2021. The scoring ability of KD and Kyrie with guys like Spencer Dinwiddie, Karis LeVert, Jared Allen, and Joe Harris backing them up seems too good for me for them to not make the NBA Finals. Of course, there's still questions on defense, but I believe they will be just fine. Let me know your thoughts on these Brooklyn Nets in the comments below. How good of a shot do they have at the NBA Championship? Thank you guys for watching. This has been Rashad with Hoops Times 2. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more NBA content like this. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Peace out.